Hey there, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make an Afrobeat type beat from scratch in FL Studio. If you're new, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So we're going to load up Splice and start building our drums, pick out a couple of drum samples and then we're going to make a very simple drum pattern. Alright, I think I like that. So now we're going to also look for a very nice drum loop or percussion loop in Splice. I think I like this Maestro Kids. Then we're going to make some chord. Let's go back to the previous one. I think I like the sound. So we're going to load up a chord progression from the chart buster MIDI kit you can get with the link in the description below. It has 45 chord progressions for Afrobeats that you can pick from that I'm sure it's going to impress you for making your own crazy beats. Let's try something else. I think I like this one. I think I like this one. Let's add an EQ to dampen it a little bit. And now we're going to try to make a layer to make our chords even more interesting. to render and replace so you can have more control. I like to render my sounds to have more control over how I can manipulate them. Let's look for some sounds for our bass. I'm not going to go with the traditional um, Afrobeat kind of bass. I'm going to use something that has a, a little bit of EDM feel to it. Mm. Let's record that. Let's bring in some 808s. And we're going to cut itself so that it doesn't clash. Let's adjust the velocity and the timing.
So now we're going to have a piano layer. I will select from different tones of piano. It's always good whenever I try to layer your sounds, right? Or try to play melody, try to experiment different tone of, even if it's just, for, let's say for example, a piano, and you have access to a variety of pianos, try different tones. Some may fit better in your beats than others. So we just paste it, our chords. I think I like, I think I like this tone. Yeah, I like this one. Let's hear it. Of course, we render and replace. I like to set my time stretching mode to auto so that in case if I change my tempo, it preserves the pitch and the tone of the sound, all right? Another thing again I like to do for my sound, especially for piano, I like to, I like to over compress it to make it sound really gritty, make it sound hard, make it sound distorted. It does add extra character to my sounds. So I'm going to exaggerate the compression. And then I'm going to add a few effects just to see how good it can get. Use auto tune. I use auto tune sometimes to just um kind of like make it a little bit off the pitch, right? To make it sound a bit um off key, just to add some some texture to it. Then we detune it. Yeah, somewhere around here. Then we add phaser. Let me try something else. I think feather is too much. Maybe a flanger. Let's reduce the wet. So I got this um, loop, that is this flute loop from Splice. I think it's the Kashmir Park.
All right. So that's just kind of like a counter melody that we're going to use a kalimba sound from um, cock treating extreme. Then just spread it all across and of course render and replace. Then use an EQ to just shape it a little. Yeah, I like that tone. So now we're going to use a guitar, all right, to just add a little, a little bit of that Afrobeat feel to the beat because it's sounding a, a lot less Afrobeat right now. So let's add a guitar to give it that, to bring the Afrobeat vibe back. spread it across then let's add another guitar rhythm and of course to we'll render and replace again so so we're going to add an effect to make it sound more interesting because what makes guitars interesting sometimes is the pedal and processing that, that goes that it goes through. So we're going to try to make it sound a little bit more interesting than sounding dry. Because right now it's sounding really dry. Yeah, I like this tone. So let's see how the beat sounds. Really loud. Really So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so that people that need helpful videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube. And hit the subscribe button for more tips and tricks. I'm Mr. Classy. Cheers.